it's a 6.1 magnitude quake right now and the depth is seven miles below the surface of the earth and the closer it is to the surface that means you could really feel that shaking or that rolling motion in our case because of the distance from the epicenter of this quake and where we are it's about 51 miles so that's why we felt the rolling motion so there excuse me are three types of waves that are emitted from earthquakes you have the primary wave which is that stronger jolt and especially the folks in that area can feel that and then the secondary wave and then also the long wave and that long wave is probably what we felt with because of the distance and with that um, depth being just seven miles uh, down to the surface of the earth that's why we felt it so strongly and this is called a strike slip fault so the the um, rocks they move uh, the crust moves horizontally toward each other so that's what we're feeling with that the blocks that are moving in that direction and as far as the um, the magnitude and the strength of these quakes. There are certain classes, and we fit right in the strong category, a 6 to 6.0 um, magnitude quake, or should, I should say 6.9 magnitude quake. So we're in a strong quake, this is uh, considered. And the last time, the Loma Prieta quake, it was a 7.9 quake, so, or I should say 6.9 quake. Um, so it, same category, very strong quake there, and you're seeing the damages there as well. And I showed some pictures earlier of what uh, people are experiencing in that area and Patrick Walker he's been sending pictures also to our Facebook page uh, and our News 10 Facebook page and our website as well so here's one of the shots that he uh, posted earlier today so I just dragged that over in our area and Christina you already mentioned this but in the next seven days they can see numerous earthquakes uh, or aftershocks from this very strong quake that hit in the Napa area yeah they said some could be as strong as 5.0 which would you know definitely people would be feeling bad you know significantly in that area